<coughs> so I thought I'd do a, a video update to do with uh, Zorinos 17. Um, I did some research. Um, I watched a bunch of videos because, let's face it, that's the only way you can find anything out really on YouTube. Because there's a lot of good tutorials on there about how to um, solve problems. Uh, I came across a guy, and then I then I went to a website, and there's a there's a program called Super Grub Two. Apparently, it's the uh, well, you can download an ISO, which is a bootable image. Uh, now the ISO, I can't zoom because I'm not on the virtual machine, so I've got no way of zooming in. So apart from using my phone, but this Super Grub Two Classic Two is it's. It's a boot manager um, that if you can't boot into your operating system, let's say you've messed up your boot menu and you can't boot. Um, when you boot from the Supergroup 2 ISO, <coughs> the, 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 the CD, or if you put it, burn it onto, well, if you copy it onto a, you create a bootable uh, USB stick. I hate USBs, but I'm actually looking at a USB right now, actually, because it's the 30 gigabyte volume, which I've got um, this these files on so what you can do is you, you can boot from the cd and it shows all the bootable op, uh, operating systems on your computer like the hard drives that are bootable and obviously it shows a lot of ha all the hard drives even the ones that are not bootable so sometimes you can click on uh when you boot that from the cd you get a, you get click on the top menu and you get it shows all the list of all the hard drives and um you can boot from just about any operating system that even if it's damaged you can boot from it to actually get back into it to do maintenance repairs whatever um which is quite cool so it enables you to get back into the operating system to basically navigate to a system restore because you've got a in, in ubuntu linux you've got something called timeline i think it's timeline or anyway so if you've made a backup of zorin and you go into um, system tools. There's a program which I installed. Um, where is it? Uh, where is it? Somewhere down here. Time shift. That's it. So there's a program called Time Shift. So I'll open Time Shift. You've got to log in, obviously, because it's it's it can damage your system just as much as rescue it. So you know, you've got to be very careful when you're using it. Um, what I mean is, if you was to restart, back up the image to a, another bootable operating system, you could wipe that partition out. So you've got to be very careful you don't. Now, if you look at this, it, I, I actually did a backup of my um, Zorin 17. It's called Jammy. Now, that backup is actually on um, another hard disk, right, which is actually in my machine right now and it says that i've got one snapshot down here it says snapshots available um so let's say you couldn't boot into this right into zorin but you were able to use the cd you could boot back into the um uh, operating system using the cd and then you could go to your snapshot which is this backup and restore the system back to the way it was so that you wouldn't need the cd to boot basically is what it should do because it says it can restore even crippled systems even if you've mostly wiped the system out but obviously i'm not going to do that because there's nothing wrong with it it still works but you, you would select it um then you would navigate to it because it's actually on um you could click on restore there's a restore point there uh there's that's where you create a new snapshot. So I was quite surprised to find that you you were able to create snapshots in a physical machine rather than a virtual machine, which is really cool. Um, it's the best best thing since sliced bread because it <laughs> it would get you out of a lot of problems if you if you if the system was messed up. So I thought I'd do a video on this because it's such an important thing. Uh, let's face it when you're tinkering around with your operating with uh if you're new like me I, I am new to zorin i'm new to linux i mean i'm learning my way i'm feeling my way around and uh you you inevitably you're gonna mess things up at some point and you're gonna be panicking oh my god i can't boot into my new operating system i've just set it up the way i want it i've got all these tools on there now and i can't even boot 
well you could use that cd um image super grub 2 which apparently is the new one because the old one was just called grub but the new one's called super grub <laughs> anyway it's on the internet you can search it so um i created a text file can't remember what i did that for actually oh that's the path to the website so if i click on oh if i copy the shortcut right and then i go to my browser create a new tab and paste that link in there it takes you to the website which is super good two disc so that you can download um you can download the uh, iso um it's got everything on it it says here everything options to detect most operating systems it open, yeah blah 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 so it's it looks really daunting when you first boot from it actually it looks really daunting but if you click on the top menu it shows everything basically it shows all the hard drives and everything and um you can basically it's a learning curve you just gotta figure out what is your boot partition and it's a good idea to if you've got a phone just to well you will have a phone but just take a photograph of the um path to that uh, to those particular um, drive boot drive boot command lines and stuff and then at some point you could probably create a boot manager uh, oh by the way i re-enabled my uh, grub um i'm gonna show you actually i uh yesterday i um i'll close all this out um i hope it doesn't try to boot from that disk i'm gonna have to reject it now hang on i'm gonna eject so yesterday i was able to um let's close let's close time shift down because I don't need to use it but so i was i lost i didn't have the um grub boot manager enabled because uh, when i installed zorin i actually for safety reason i unplugged all my hard drives uh but i needed to turn it back on again and it was a nightmare and i found a website um that told showed me how to do it um actually i'll show you that now before i actually do reboot so if i go back into um firefox also i configured firefox to use my graphics card instead of my cpu so it actually runs a lot faster even well even faster than it before it was still fast before but so we go i create some shortcuts so if i go to other bookmarks no where is it i'll go to the bookmarks menu if we go to well i'll put it in computers so i could find it so if you go to this website called um um uh, can't think of what it's called now <laughs> Ah, uh, right. So this website, how to configure the Group Two bootloader settings. So, so, so there's this website. It's How to Geek. And uh, on there, it, there's a whole bunch of information that tells you how to re-enable uh, your Grub bootloader. Well, the Group Two bootloader actually, because and, and you're just following on the instructions on this page, and it's called HowToGeek.com. There's a big long address at the top. I wish I could show you in bigger writing, but I can't really do that because I don't have my Zoom tool on here. I've been looking for a Zoom tool as well, um, but I can't seem to get that to work for some reason. But it's basically, well, if you search for how to configure the Grub2 bootloaders uh, settings, you should be able to find this website anyway. Well, anyway, there's that website. And it gives you it shows you what the bootloader looks like and there's a whole bunch of stuff some of it's hidden some of it's yeah you've got to comment out the uh, the group hidden timeout quiet true you've got to comment out that one i think and you've got to set a time time to time out to say five seconds or something on that one um but yeah you've got to do a lot of these stuff through the 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 terminal you can't just save that file and and that's it now you've got to, this is a, the basic file you've got to edit that one correctly so you've got to follow the instructions and then you use the terminal basically to import it into the system because you can't just edit system files you've got to import them properly and then there's the other website there's another one i was looking at which was also very useful um that was this this one so i've got to the other website um 
so that as I said that was the first one was on how to geek the second one is fosttips.com this is pretty cool this is where you get all the command line stuff really laid out for you it's pseudo apt install grubbing customizer blah 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 you, you get all the stuff in the black windows is the command lines um so yeah there's there's loads of loads of stuff on this website that shows you how to get your bootloader back um and it's a very simple page on here but uh it shows you the command lines you need basically so that's why i thought i'd share that so as i say um there's loads of help out there you don't need me really i'm just going over what i came across and what sold me so if i shut this down now if i shut my browser down i've got to eject that usb <sighs> I've ejected it, but if I don't pull it out, it'll it'll try to boot from it. So if I go down to restart, I'm not going to wait sixty seconds. I'll just click restart. See how fast this is. Watch how quick this is. I mean, it's pretty fast. This so I mean, so now um, when it starts up. Beep, that's the BIOS beeping. Now I should get the Grub bootloader, which I didn't get before. Um, so, and you press the down key so you don't, right. So I can see the menu, and there's the menu, menu for the bootloader, which comes with Zorin. So I couldn't get my other bootloader. I couldn't get GAG. I couldn't get my GAG bootloader to work, which stands for Graphical Advanced or somewhere. Um, anyway, somewhere to do with it. Yeah, it's it's not English, it's translated, so that's why it's got a weird name. Anyway, so now you, you can see you've got these um, extra boot menus. Zorin, to boot into Zorin is the top one, obviously. And then you've got that advanced options for Zorin. And then you've got a memory test, which you could use. Um, you've got a bunch of other stuff, which I haven't even dug into yet. But you've got these features at the bottom. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it's got edit. Um, my mouse doesn't work in here, by the way. So edit uh, is there at the bottom, and then you got C. Oh, I think that's configure or something. I think that's back that one. I'm not sure yet. But you, you have to read the manual because I'm still learning this stuff. I've just come across it. I've really not used it much. But the edit function enables you to add more operating systems to boot from, basically. And the reason I haven't added uh, Windows. Um, to the boot menu yet is because I still haven't read that part <laughs> I still have to figure that part out so you really caught up to where I am now um, yeah there's it's they don't use um, they don't use paths like you do in, in an operating system they use some kind of it yeah it's it's different it's not the same I don't know if, if I've clicked on Zorin if I go up to Zorin and click on E. You see what I mean? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, what's all that? <laughs> so I mean, if I if I scroll down with my mouse with my keyboard, it's complicated. That's why it's so Linux boot. It says there uh, on that line. It says, I don't know if you see my mouse boot, VM Linux. That's the generic boot command line to boot into linux right i think <laughs> so and it, it, it's it goes across that line into the line below it uh all the way down it says and the commands for quiet which means it doesn't give a splash screen um so yeah there's a whole bunch of stuff and it's not easy to just add another operating system you need to know what the actual command line is to boot that so if i press escape i'm back so i always press the escape button if you're lost and you think how do i get back how do i get back you know you don't press a del key whatever you do but just press the escape button and you're back to where you were so yeah that's i press enter now i'll boot into zorin and uh yeah so you're gonna have to figure that out because i'm still figuring it out because it's not the same as the the boot uh, menu in windows it's completely different um well it just looks very messy and clumsy and uh 
it's just hard to figure it all out. But I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some examples. I think on um, on uh, on the internet, and I'll figure it out somehow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.